Hi, my name is Rick Hamilton, and I'm your host of the Staying Healthy Today Show. Yes, I'm doing this from my car, and today's show topic is a cardiac surgeon's experience living and using a plant-based diet. Uh, yesterday, I interviewed a doctor, Staten Autry. He's a cardiothoracic surgeon in Midland, Texas, uh, on his experiences uh, adopting in himself and his patients a plant-based diet. And it's going to be a podcast interview about 30 minutes, but I, I wanted to go over some of the highlights with you and encourage you to uh, go to the link at the bo- below this video and podcast. So basically, uh, you know, he's a very successful cardiovascular surgeon, but he knows that the standard American diet is really the cause of vascular disease. And he really believes that food addiction to fat and sugar in particular uh, and sodium to a lesser extent are, are what draw people. And he gives two case studies, actually one case study and then one of himself. He had a, a friend of his that this has empowered him. This is how he got started in the whole plant-based thing. Uh, a friend of him, a friend of his, uh, had severe coronary artery disease, a heart attack, and somehow got on Esselstyn, Dr. Esselstyn's program, which you've heard me talk about, and he lost, uh, went from 205 pounds down to 155 pounds. Uh, he is angina went away, his sleep apnea went away, his arthritis went away, um, his chronic sinusitis went away, his cholesterol plummeted, and this guy just has tremendous energy. So Dr. Uh, Autry went with him to the one-day program that Dr. Esselton has in Cleveland, in Cleveland, Ohio, which I went to, and then he became you know, familiar, and, and he, he said he'd try the diet himself, and he's lost, uh, he's gone from 270 to 190. But here is a powerful part of the interview. You can see him getting more excited about talking about it, how he's really helping his patients, how how as even a cardiovascular surgeon who still does bypass surgeries, that's the predominant surgery that he does, he and his wife, who's an RN there, they really have take this on as a a mission. Um, You know, he spends a half hour counseling his patients on diet. His wife takes them to grocery store. They have a a community potluck kind of organized by his wife she gives out the recipes where people have to bring plant-based food and maybe there's 60 or 70 people involved and 30 come at a time and he and he's just really super committed and then at the end we started talking about we have the power now to really change healthcare because not only will this diet reverse and eliminate heart disease but it also wipes out the chronic diseases. And this is one of the, the key points of the interview that I got. He kept talking about collateral benefits, collateral benefits. I'm talking about heart disease and a surgeon. And he's saying in his patients and what he sees is that not only do these people's heart disease reverse, but their obesity goes, their diabetes goes, their high blood pressure goes, um, sleep apnea get, decreases, obviously their weight goes down. And so it's all these different uh, benefits that come from this one simple dietary approach. So, listen, this is Kirk Hamilton. This is Staying Healthy Today Show. I know I'm doing this from my car, but it's the only time I have today because I'm actually at a Two Forks conference and I've just been listening about plant based nutrition all day long and I had to get out and get this done. So, go to stayinghealthytoday.com. Uh, you'll see the link uh, below there or go to this podcast. You'll see the link below that goes to that, that interview with Dr. Autry. It's very, very, very powerful. Share it with somebody who's got heart disease or you know any diabetes or obesity, but really heart disease. And if a cardiac surgeon recommends this diet and he says this is one of the most important things we could do for health care reform, we'd save billions and billions of dollars, then it's worth listening to. Send it to someone you love or a friend. I'll talk to you soon. You have a great day.